Good evening to you at 6 o'clock on Liz Cho. And I'm Bill Ritter. More on those stories in a moment. But first, arrest tonight in that vicious murder of a 15-year-old boy, a savage killing that sparked outrage in the Bronx. Yeah, 19-year-old Kevin Alvarez was already been charged with murder. Six others right now are being held on unrelated charges in Patterson, New Jersey, but the NYPD wants to talk to them. Lissandro Guzman Feliz killed with a machete last Wednesday at a bodega. A wake now being held for him tonight. And there is right now a long line of mourners outside the funeral home, as you can see, from Newscopter 7. Our news reporter Joe Torres is live in the Mott Haven section for the lead story tonight. Joe. Liz and Bill talk about having shoulders to lean on during a time of grief and sorrow. You've got to take a look at the pictures, yes, from Newscopter 7 that show the huge line of mourners that runs along the block here in Southern Boulevard and then around the corner. An absolutely tremendous outpouring of support for a murdered 15-year-old and the parents who miss him so much. Emotional calls for justice echoed along Southern Boulevard this afternoon. A huge crowd of mourners came to the Ortiz funeral home to say goodbye to Lesandro Guzman Feliz, known to many as Junior. The tremendous show of support is a huge source of comfort to the parents of the murdered 15-year-old who dreamed of one day being Because I need yeah. justice for my son. That's my junior, my little baby. And we, and we wait, that not happen anymore with no, any, any kid. Like, like Frank, that's the best friend. He called me for everything when he needs something. Papi, Liz, I need something. I gotta go outside with you. Let's go, go to wash my car. The teenager's parents say justice is exactly what Kevin Alvarez will soon face. Police arrested and charged the 19-year-old with Junior's murder. An angry crowd screamed and jeered at the accused killer as he emerged last night from the 48th police precinct. But I have a 12-year-old grandson. He walks home from school. It mm -hmm. could have been him, easily mistaken. Why do we have to live with this tragedy like this? Just mm -hmm. children being taken away for nothing. Justice also awaits a half dozen other suspects rounded up by investigators in Patterson, New Jersey. Today, an extradition hearing for them inside a Passaic County courtroom. They changed me inside. They changed my heart. I feel different. You've seen the pictures here in Mott Haven. Take a look at the pictures now from the Tremont section of the Bronx where more scores of mourners have gathered outside the murder scene, a memorial there that grows by the hour. Among the mourners here in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, the Bronx Borough President, the Yankees, in a classy move, they sent over a jersey, a New York Yankees jersey with Junior's name on it. We're also told that New York City's Police Commissioner James O'Neill will soon be here at the funeral home soon to pay his his respects remember junior dreamed of one day becoming one of new york's finest the wake here continues until nine o'clock tonight live in the mott haven section of the bronx i'm joe torres channel seven eyewitness news just the tragic story joe thank you a tragic story in queens as well and charging